fire cooking. We are going to make up something that we saw on Facebook, which is kind of like a hobo pack. Only it's going to go, one's going to be in the cast iron, one's going to be in the pie plate. See which one's better. I'm sure the cast iron will be better. Got some potatoes, mushrooms, jalapenos, peppers, green onions, and some onions. Then we've got some chicken breasts that we've had marinating in the some taco mix with some vegetable oil for a couple of days. We're gonna line up the pans with the potatoes. So I'm gonna start chopping up. Got everything all chopped up here. Potatoes. Put some vegetable oil and some taco seasoning mix. Whatever you like. Mix it up good. Onions, going to uh, put a little bit of oil, some sriracha sauce, not too much. them up. A little bit of taco sauce too. That should do. So what's going to happen is we're going to layer the potatoes, the onions, the peppers, the mushrooms, the jalapenos in here and then slap a big old chicken breast right on top. Wrap it in foil and let her cook for 45 minutes, I guess, something like that. So I'm going to start getting my fire ready for cooking this food up. I got some wood chopped up. It's all birch, seems to be at this park. Last few parks we've been at, chopped up into small pieces. Got some newspaper. Got our fire pit. Usually doesn't take much paper to start a fire. This isn't a fire making lesson, but I like to do a twist like that, fold it, do a twist like that. Set it in there. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna stick a larger log back here like this. So it helps keep the fire in like that. Start with some small bark. Birch bark burns really good. And uh, put one larger one there. Small kindling pieces. Something like that. Fire her up. Try and get it lit from as many angles as you can. We'll 
let that get going. Okay, so while we're waiting for our fire to get some coals ready for cooking, So we got our chicken breasts we had marinating in a bag for the last couple of days. <coughs> got our onions with green onions with some sriracha and a little bit of vegetable oil. We got our potatoes cut up with some vegetable oil and some taco seasoning. Got our jalapenos, 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 some mushrooms, and some peppers. So they're going to go in here. Layer them up, cover them in tin foil, and cook them up. Okay, so here we go. Mine's the cast iron pan, Carol's is the pizza uh, pie plate. Start with potatoes. Next up, we got the onions. Okay, next up. That was bad. How many jalapenos you want? All. All of them? Unless you want some. I'll have a little bit. I love jalapenos. A couple of jalapenos for me, lots for Carol. And Did you get the cast iron. Mushrooms. Oh yeah, they don't put many of the saute ones on top, eh? No, they and then don't. it's just the other kind mostly. Yep. Mushrooms. A few, but not enough mushrooms. Some peppers. I guess this is going to be more than a serving each, isn't it? It's okay. You can eat it for dinner tomorrow night. We will throw two breasts on each one. Okay. It's not going to fit, is Something it? like that. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more vegetable oil to mine. Do you want some more vegetable oil, no. baby? No. And I'm going to add a big hunk. Two big hunk and chunks of butter. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, since these are more than a serving, we're going to make uh, double breasts, so two breasts on each. Whoa. Two breasts on each. That doesn't leave much. May as well just... Three. What's left over is going to be my lunch for next week. Anyways. So, we wrap these puppies in foil. poke a couple of holes to let some steam out. I've never tried this before. Voila, 
there you have it. Those will go on the fire. We're going to do 45 minutes, we think, maybe an hour. We're not sure. And see how it goes. I've added some more wood to my fire to get some more coals. And I'm going to spread it out, push that log in, and so it stays at the back. Now, you can't cook on a campfire without having a beer. Hop City Bark and Squirrel Lager. Love it. All right, I think we should be ready to get going here. Something to add to your camping arsenal. Fire poker. Got this at Lowe's, I think, or Home Depot, like five bucks. Just like that. I'm gonna push this in a bit. So the idea is you wanna keep your fire at the back. I think I'm gonna keep it in the center and put the plates on either side. Okay, it's time. It's like 5.30. I'm going to let these go for about 45 minutes or so, I think. Probably longer. I'd say 55. Those were some pretty honking big chicken breasts. True. And I guess we'll see what happens. It's either going to work or it's not, right? Yes. <laughs> We're about 10 minutes in and everything's starting to sizzle here pretty good. I added some more wood to widen it out a bit. And I think I'm going to leave that for a while. I don't want it to get too freaking hot. So we let this go an hour on here. So uh, we're going to pull it off and see what we got. Welding glove, gotta have one. Let's see what we got here. One. There's two. So what do you think? It's gonna be cooked. Let's hope so. We'll let it go an hour. It's pretty freaking hot. Looks cooked. <clears throat> so we double wrap. We double uh, bag carols here. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna get that. Cut the foil off. Good job, Sparky. There you have it. There you have it. Hobo packs made, what, in a pie plate or a cast iron pan. Mine looks a little crispier on the bottom. Chicken looks cooked, I believe. So there you go. Hobo packs, campfire cooking, baby. Mama's making sure the chicken's cooked, which it is cooked perfectly. Yeah. Maybe even a little overdone. <laughs> no. No. So one hour, pretty hot coals, don't know the temperature. So we're going to enjoy this meal. What's left over is going to be my lunch for next week. And uh, thanks for watching.
No, I'm okay. How is it, baby? Good. Mine was delicious. <clears throat> I'm having some more. Well, that's our plates. Man, that was good. That was like better than anything you get in a restaurant. Here's what we got left. Some chicken's gonna be my lunch meat for next week at work. And we are gonna move on with the evening. <laughs>